Hi everyone, Scott here again with another Aperture experience for you. So um, a couple of years ago I was in Las Vegas with the family on a vacation, sitting in a restaurant waiting for food to arrive, and saw this ceiling with the lights and just snapped a photo waiting for uh, our orders to arrive, and only recently got around to taking a look at it to process it. I just remember thinking the lights were really cool, and I wanted those to pop off of the photo. My initial thinking was to work with some layers to mask off other sections of the photo so those lights would really jump out. And as I was going through that, it dawned on me, I don't need to use layers. I can do everything I need to do with the aperture adjustments and brushing. What I started with is a color adjustment. Now, I've got one here. This is my final adjustment, but just so you can see the thought process. Let me add a new one. And I wanted these oranges and these ambers to be pulling out. So, you know, grab my selector, pick a color, and, you know, start fiddling with, you know, things like saturation, the hue a little more toward the amber range, you know, just, just fiddling around doing things. You know, I got to something that was reasonably good. You know, do the same thing over for maybe these, um, these yellowish lights over here. It's a slightly different hue. Maybe keep the range down a little bit just to play with those colors. You know, doing this type of thing to get these, you know, these richer, richer tones in the lights. And I remember thinking, okay, great, I'll get these adjusted here because it's really messing around with some of this background. But I'll create a version without the adjustments like this, create a second version with the adjustment, and then bring those versions into something like Perfect Layers, Photoshop, you know, GIMP, your, your tool of choice, and do some layering and masking just to have these lights out. And 10 seconds after that, realized I don't need to do any of that. I can do everything that I want to do with this photo in Aperture. So let's look at the more selective applying of the color adjustment. Right, so let's get rid of this here. We don't need that anymore. And we can take a look at the adjustments that I did. You can see I've played with these different ranges, very, very slow ranges. You apply that, and you'll see that the colors of these lights have popped up. But the rest of the image hasn't. So I'm going to toggle that back and forth. And we can see very clearly when I turn on the overlay, I just needed to brush in over the lights. And I even got sloppy on these lights here because the, the real tones that I wanted or in this area here. So you know, as I realized I didn't need to worry about being very precise with the mask, or with the, uh, the brushing, I should say. So that was one step. Um, I'll look at you know, the rest of this uh, adjustments here as well that I've done, because it, it highlights, uh, while the brushes are wonderful in Aperture, there's a limitation with them. The next thing I applied is a, a sepia tone. I, I love the lights now, they're great, but you know the, the, the background ceiling is a little busy, you know, a little bright, a little color, and since it's mainly brown tones, like great, let me use a sepia tone, play around with that a bit, and bring those um, those tones in the ceiling downwards. So take a peek at, now that I've done that, this makes it blur into the background. Now the lights haven't changed. Again, let me toggle that. And you can see, once again, I've used the brushing distinctly over just the ceiling areas. More specifically, I applied it to the entire photo and then brushed away certain sections. This would have been wonderful if I could have copied the overlay from the color adjustment, applied it to the sepia tone adjustment, and inverted it. That would have been fantastic. But those are things that Aperture doesn't offer. You know, this would have been a piece of cake in Perfect Layers or Photoshop. And just to finish things off so you can see the final product here, the last thing I did was all these little tiny you know, light fixtures and whatnot all through the, the ceiling. You know, the, you know, some dust spots in my sensor and so forth. These were just distractions, so I did some retouching to, to pull those away and get rid of them just to make a nice clean ceiling and so forth. So you can see that's what uh, that's what everything looked like. So really quick again to take away all those adjustments. Here's what the before image looked like. And then putting those back in, you know, the final product. So next time you're looking to do some effects on certain areas of the photo, don't forget that the brushes um, work really well. You can apply them on selected areas and in a, in a manner of speaking, do some layer effects that um, otherwise you'd have to be shipping this out to, uh, to another tool. 
I said, I hope you enjoyed this and um, I will see you next time.